Vince Long, he's one of four guys playing a new position. Solomon off play action. They start him on the roll into a window, but incomplete, and it's second down at 10. And a good decision by Solomon. Really nothing there. The BYU defense playing a cover two zone, two deep zone underneath. And as they rolled out on that side of the field, there's just nothing there. And as you look at Solomon's stats, one of the most productive players in college football, especially when healthy. On second down at 10, he gets away from Francis Bernard, directing traffic and back-to-back -back throwaways, setting up third table. It's the ability to evade rushers, fix the problems, use all those different tools, and he doesn't force anything downfield. He just throws the football away, lives to play another down. They rush only four on third and ten and still get pressure. Solomon gets rid of it, but Butch Powell shuts it down. Wilson. This game. So far, Kalani Sataki's defense not choosing to pressure, just allowing their four-man rush to take effect. Solomon had to move out of the pocket. He found a running back, his little outlet right there, but for a minimal gain. Last year, even though it was a somewhat of a disappointing season. They fake to Wilson and throw into traffic, and it's incomplete. Micah Hanneman breaking it loose. No flag. Let's check it out on the replay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to me, that, that's pretty clear. Third down and 13 for the Wildcats. Solomon steps up. And throws for a first down and more across the 40. It's Trey Griffey. 30. Started with a penalty, put him at first and 15, then they lose one. So on second and 16, it's Solomon across his body, completing to the 45. Griffey has his second catch. Bring a little pressure. They bring it and get home. Butch Powell gets the sack, and it's Fonson Kafusi now in the NFL with the Ravens, played at BYU. Solomon throwing, perfect strike, complete shy of the 20. Troy Ward. On second and seven, Solomon keeps and throws into traffic. Four white shirts. Solomon can't get away. Harvey Longy got to. State defense. Safe bet Todd Graham is blitzing as we speak. A new Solomon avoids pressure and finds Craig Griffey. And Griffey out near the 12. He's kind of that next guy that they look to throw up go balls to. Get it in space, Samaje Grant for a gain of four. Gave him five, second and five. Solomon rolls, finds the window in the zone. It's Nate Phillips and a first down to the 45. For Phillips on the inside. Michael Davis hits Phillips right away and then Pau'u rallies. No second down and 14. Wilson motions out. Solomon with time to step into his throw that's off of the hands of Phillips. Eight in coverage for BYU. Solomon with tight windows to see through. To the sideline and picked off. That's Francis Bernard. These are the sort of veteran mistakes that if you're on new Solomon, you just can't make. And as he buys time, it's only a three-man rush. There's eight in coverage. BYU did a good job of flooding the passing lanes. Position on the defensive side for BYU today. They bring heat in rhythm. Solomon hits his man close to a first down. Abe Phillips. Solomon steps into a deep ball. Down the sideline. It's broken up, but a flag flies in. He wanted a hand in on it. Pass interference. Defense number 27. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. We take another look, just, just too much. You can see he gets his arm in there before the ball arrives. I think that's what's most likely draw the flag, but they're being physical with each other down the sideline the entire way. I think if not for that contact, they're late with this right and gotten in sync. Play action. Zings it outside. Micah Hanneman drives it loose. They say that it was a catch. -up. Ineligible player downfield. Offense number 64. Five yard penalty. Repeat first down. To second and 19 now. Solomon works out of an empty set. He steps up. Over the middle. He's got Phillips. And Phillips has a first down.
Improvisation from Anu Solomon to Blitz. Solomon in trouble here and popped. Kafusi and Warner combining, no gain. Second. Here comes pressure. Solomon hitting his tight end, Josh Kern. Go to the end zone. On third and four, edge rusher gets home. It's Francis Bernard Eklund. Play action, one on one. Trey Griffey can't pull it in. Coverage from Michael Davis. Like that to Griffey. On third down and short, Solomon checks it down. It's Griffey for a first down. Up to the 20. Total when you're mixing all those numbers. On third and seven, Solomon well protected. It's collapsing, and Kafusi has his first career. We'll see at the top of the screen, Kafusi continues to work, continues to work, and Alu Solomon's got it. That mental time clock has to go off. 61 yards of offense for the Wildcats tonight. Solomon slings it out to Phillips in space. He got away from Micah Hanneman. Probably regrets it. Solomon, as far as his production as a passer. Francis Bernard had him in his grasp, couldn't get him. So Wilson has it across the 25. And it's third down. Tonight, for the most part, it's been broken plays. Anu Solomon scrambled around, pump fake, moved in the pocket, slipped through a tackle, and finds the open receiver. Good catch by Wilson. Sure enough, a first down, good completion by Solomon. Solomon pressured, floats it off of the fingertips of Poindexter. And a double player downfield, offense number 58, five yard penalty. So on second and 10, Wilson swings out, Solomon steps up, dances his way free. Anu Solomon gets six yards and Harvey Lungi pulls him down. Third and four. Only three rush. So Solomon has all day. Zips one down the middle for a first down to Tyrell Johnson. Only as when it felt like watching it from up here, Johnson was open forever. It just took him a while to get open. And obviously Solomon put it in there for the first down. First down run play, and he swings it out. Johnson again. He's got great speed. Absorbs the blow. We have other awards. Second and seven, pressure leaks through. Solomon retreating and throwing it. There's really no one open. I don't know if there's a miscommunication on the outside, but Solomon was trying to throw him to a spot where I think Trey Griffey was. Solomon over the middle. It's picked off by Kai Nakua. in the middle of the field. Nakua able to take advantage as Johnson fell down in the process. Nakua, who led the team in interceptions a year ago, had six. He's a ball hawk back there. It does a nice job of reading the eyes of the quarterback. Very opportunistic. The ninth interception of his career. Captain of this BYU defense. Puts it back in the awful four, and they need a touchdown. His first throw is over the middle and complete to Nate Phillips. They get a chunk. From the 44, Wilson swings out. Solomon steps up and takes off, sliding down for a gain of four. It was a cold run. It's scrambling. That comes into play. Here comes pressure. It's picked up. Solomon, scramble drill. Eyes downfield. Samaje Grant with a stiff arm for a short gain. Kai Nakua's go with on the two-point conversion. They have the timeout to think about it. Solomon pumps left, rolls right, back of the end zone and broke it up. And so a field goal would win it for BYU. You know, we saw this play actually in walkthrough. Solomon kind of fakes to the left, boots to the right. He does the wise thing. You've got to give him a chance. There's no reason to kind of eat that football or throw it away. Opawu well, with a nice job. Solomon dumps it off for Phillips, and he's thrown down. The Satake era begins.